Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and it's time for my client Sayus vlog. And uh, this is a deload week for him, and this is something that we discussed before he even started. That he feels like due to his work stress, the the physically demanding job that he does, that he needs to deload every four weeks. And so you know we're doing that. And of course, here's the thing: everyone can watch his good form on everything uh, during his deload weeks, even though the weights are light. And uh, again, a lot of people said, man, his bench technique is clean. And then they wondered why he started his bench so light. And it's like, because he doesn't bench press. He wants to build his bench up. And he actually didn't really bench. I don't want people to understand that. He's just good at movements. He learns movements. He studied it and figured out how to set up a bench correctly. Uh, but he hasn't really been training it. As, but if you notice his technique on other lifts... Watch his, his other movements. He has good movement patterns. His overhead press is perfect. His squat is perfect. He trains those. He was pulling sumo before we started. He only started, you know, pulling conventional uh, a month ago. And his conventional deadlift is clean. So, so what do our uh, deload weeks look like for him? What do they look like? Well, bench day, we do five sets of ten. Right, we do five sets of 10 at 40% of his training max. Right, 40% of his training max. Rows, we do five sets of 10 at a weight that he can have at least five reps in reserve. We use a really light weight. So again, people always notice that a lot with my guys who we don't always do standing rows, but we do them on deload weeks. Uh, and, it's, and it's because I need them to be able to use a light weight. Right, I need them to be able to use a light weight. And a lot of times people don't have the correct plates and stuff for the pin lace to do it off with a really lightweight. Uh, or they do a lot of body weight stuff and it's not appropriate always on a deload. So it just lets us get a movement pattern in and a row and we work the upper back and biceps and everything. And so that's what we do. All right, his squat day, we come in and we do five sets of 10 at 40% of training max. And I, oftentimes, again, people look at this and they're like, I don't understand why your people's deload weeks so light. It's like, a lot of the deloads I used to do, I just took a week off and didn't train at all. But with a lot of these guys, what we're doing, we're getting blood flow, we're maintaining the movement patterns, re-sparking a little muscle protein synthesis to gain a little bit of muscle while they recover. Okay? It's, it's all about just maintaining those things. Uh, because, again, they'll get better responses from it because they're continuing the movements they're practicing movements uh, they get again muscle protein synthesis because there is a very small training response it's, it's nowhere near optimal right it's nowhere near optimal but it certainly prevents uh, nervous system detraining and again just the volume of, of just the pump work even though it's nowhere near failure we're getting blood flow nutrients, all of those things. Helps with like active recovery for all the muscles. All right, so squat day, he does that with a safety bar squat. Then we do Romanian deadlifts. Again, five by 10 using, you know, around half the weight he normally uses. All right, cut the weight in half. All right, so he does five sets of 10 on those. Overhead press, we do five by 10 at 40%. And a lot of people have commented, again, his overhead press technique is really clean. And he's strong at the overhead press. All right, he's a strong overhead presser. Also, we need to keep in mind, you know, he's cutting right now. He's on a weight loss journey. He's obviously incredibly jacked in spite of that. But let's keep in mind there's genetics involved, a very physically demanding job. And he, he has been training for quite a while. All right, he didn't just start training a few months ago. Uh, but he, again, he wants to focus now on getting really strong right, learning stuff the correct way while he trims down. And yeah, I mean, he's got a big muscle base and he's going to get stronger. He's going to get a lot stronger. And yeah, I mean, again, the, the, the quads and the triceps, I, I think that's the things that are most noticeable with this guy, just big quads and triceps. So, you know, again, weight loss journey going to lose weight he's going to get stronger he's going to keep getting stronger while he loses weight all right we're going to probably take you know at least another 30 pounds off of him and he's going to get stronger while losing the weight you know at this point from where he is we're going to keep his programming dialed in fatigue management good and that's where these deloads help all right i have a guy like this who's in a calorie deficit been losing weight losing weight now all right 
very physically demanding job, yet we're, we're making progress. Because again, the fatigue management and knowing that we need the deloads for him. All right? So his overhead press day after the press, we do rows. We do rows. All right, deadlift day, same thing. Five by 10 at 40%. And, and again, notice how clean his conventional technique is. He's just now learned how to conventional. He didn't pull conventional, All right? He preferred sumo, and I'm like, no, man, we, we need to do conventional for you. Let's get you big, get your back big, All right? Like his quads are, are big, but he's been pulling sumo and doing uh, safety bar, and he prefers that for shoulder reasons, just like he close grip benches only. But look at the size of the triceps. It's not gonna matter, All right? It's not gonna matter. It's gonna have a massive close grip bench by the time we're done. But, you know, those, these are things that he does because, again, his, his shoulders have bothered him a little from discomfort. So we use the tools that he has. We use the tools that he has. But the deadlift, you know, the deadlift, he's going to get more out of the conventional. I think he needs to pull sumo. All right. So the technique, though, the technique is very, very good. Deadlift day, again, it's the same thing, 5 by 10 at 40% training max, and I have him do RDLs. So, so basically, what we're seeing on a deload week is we just do six lifts. Don't do any of the other supplemental stuff, and he doesn't have a lot of supplemental stuff. You know, we have a little bit of arms and things in there. I have him doing some dead hangs right now, because again, I'm worried about his grip, because he's always wanting to strap up. I'm like, no, no, let's get that grip built. And he's able to do dead hangs at his body weight. So his grip is stronger. It's stronger than he likes to feel like it is, you know. But we do that, and then we finish off with the RDLs after. So basically, we do squat, bench, deadlift, overhead press. And then we do rows and RDLs for him. Everything's being worked, right? Every muscle in his body is being worked, even on deload week. It's just being done with six big basic movements. And I'll let you guys finish up watching all this, and you'll see a set of his RDLs at the end after this last set of deadlifts. Uh, so I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.